jumps off the page when you watch him play even with a defender draped all over him, he's able to find a way to get to the rim and get the shot to go in and one of his other great qualities Steve was his quick trigger off the dribble I mean, he can get his shot off in an instant a nanosecond well guys how about the anticipation for this year's rookie showcase when you look in the stands the celebrities the stars are everywhere you got press scouts GMs and then you add in the players and the fans. I mean, the buildup and the excitement for this exact game, where so much is riding on the performance of these young and talented players. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Me too, Steve. You can really feel the buzz in the air. I mean, people have been talking about the players and what's to come of the upcoming draft. And there's an awful lot to be excited about this time of year. Now, Clark, Clark, that is just ridiculous. Absolutely filthy. Oh, I don't remember on. ever seeing a dunk like that in the game. I certainly can't remember the last time I saw it. Oh, man, that was just amazing. And, you know, when you look back to last year, guys, we got to see Anthony Davis, Damian Lillard, Bradley Beal. And you're talking about some elite talent that entered the NBA for the 2012-13 season in last year's showcase. You're talking about guys that really entered the league with a bang. I mean, you got to add in Jared Selinger to the list um, because he was productive, but also he and I share the same... College matriculation, the Ohio State University. And what a great rookie year we saw from Deion Wade. You look around the gym, uh, a lot of movers and shakers in attendance. <laughs> yeah, you sure are. And if you want to be seen by an NBA front office, this is the place to be. It's just one game, and you've got their full attention. Here's the monster. He's got six. A couple of back to back fouls for him. And he's going to have to be very careful the way he's playing. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And the rookie's making a change here. And the second free throw, good. On defense, the rookies. Thompson dishes to Henderson. And so just over a minute and a half played. Number 11. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Red hot right out of the gates. Four for four shooting. Here's the monster. Henderson defending. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. the rookies now Thompson outside drives on the block so the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there this is his first free throw of the game and he knocks down the first one and so Thompson nails both of about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Now the rookies with it. Trailing by four. Here's the monster. Trails the lead. The monster's got nine points. You know, you can see his talent for scoring. Yeah, that's the scouting report on him, and he's living up to it at this point. Henderson kicks to Thompson. 
here in the first. Just under two and a half minutes played so far. The kick out to Walker. All sorts of time. Gets the front of the rim and out. First miss of the game after four makes, so it's been a hot start. Here's the monster. Call it. The defender is called for the block, and this could turn into a three-point play. You know, offensively, his quarter has been perfect. Not a single miss shot. They've got to keep riding it. And it's rookie's ball. Henderson passes to Thompson. He feeds it to Henderson. Here's Lively. Thompson outside. Expanding his range. And that one's good. Thompson's got eight points. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's the monster. Thompson outside. He passes it to the monster. Thompson comes with the double team. Launches a three. Feeds to Thompson. Pass to the monster. Back to Thompson. And there's the pass to Hendricks. Thompson outside. Passes it to the monster. Out to Thompson. Just tried to shoot. That's good. Thompson's got his first points in this one. Well, it's definitely been a shootout, but the team that can start playing some defense might have an edge. It's Thompson off the drive. Plastic Ivory. Makes the lead pass. Andrews additions to Thompson. From outside, off the mark. The rookies on offense. Here's the monster. He's got 12. Thompson outside. Here's Cooley Pulley. Pass to the monster. And Biniano. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, defensively, he's a guy who always seems to anticipate the fast break. And you know, by the way, guys, I love the fact that this game is being held right here in New York. Talk about being the center of the media universe. Well, Steve, I even saw some cameras flashing before the game taking pictures of you, my friend. <laughs> you bring celebrity rock star status even in your understated way, man. Unbelievable. And really, New York is the mecca for all things big. We know that. And the way the NBA has grown in popularity over the last few years and decades, no shortage of opportunities to get to learn about the league and what all of the teams are doing to try to up their chances for success in the upcoming season. The monster in at point guard. He's out there with Thompson, and it's Rambiniana in at the five. That's the rookie's five. Gets it to go. 11 points in the game. And he's certainly impressed with his play thus far. Yeah, a chance here to make an impression with so many eyes on you. And he's risen to the occasion. And it's great to see all the best and the brightest young prospects in one place going at it five on five. Yeah, there's only so much you can really gather from shooting wheels and running through points. Nothing beats the real thing, that's for sure. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. Here's the monster. That's the risky run by staying out there as he picks up his third. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Trying to make it a three-point play. He's had five chances at the line, gone four for five. And the rookie's making a change here. Here's Dick. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. He dishes it to Henderson. And he slams it home for the putback. No tip required when you've got room to make the stuff. There's some powerful second-chance points right there. Yeah, he wasn't wasting any time. Straight back up and right into the hoop. Good. 17 points for the monster. Well, what can you say? I mean, he's good, and he's making sure everybody here knows it. Well, it's been his lifelong dream to play in the NBA, and he's showing he's ready for the challenge. Henderson kicks to Miller. Walker with his screen for Miller. Dishes it to Henderson. Gets it up. And blocked. But he gets it back. Shot clock at six. Back to Walker. Takes the three. Shot is off. And the rookies the other way. 
Here's the monster. It's all even down. The monster's got seven now in this quarter. And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. And it's Miller penetrating. The finger roll finish off the ball. Blacks chuck in for Thompson. Miller's gone two or three from the field. Now the pass to Black. Stolen by Henderson. And they're on the break. A huge slam. The perfect end of the fast break. Now that was pretty. That was just a nice looking reverse jam right there. Use the rim, Clark, to protect the ball, I think, too, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. did a nice job with it. Yeah, no question, Kevin. Great awareness and terrific finish. Shots good from the monster. The monster's got 21. Well, offensively, he's taken a solid opening quarter and just built on it here in the second. Fantastic lively. Here's Dick. Fires the three. Gets it to go. He's got six. Good vision he's showing. When the defense collapses, he's making the right decision. All well, that awareness and understanding, that's something scouts and GMs love to see. Passes it to the monster. There's the double team with Walker. Back at six. The monster passes to Block. Let's it go with the three. Kick grabs the miss. The shot. The rebound by Louis Boone. Boy, he's really been active on the black. And a nice bonus from him. I mean, if he can rebound like this in the NBA, he'll make a team very happy. He passes to Wimbledon. Can't get it to go. And the rookies the other way now. To kick. The feed to Miller. Here's Kick. Defended by Mavunga. Outside, Walker. Here's Kick. Back to Walker. Here's Kick. He's got six. Here's the three. That's good. He's got nine. This seems like they've given up far too many points from the three-point shot today. A lot of open looks out there. I agree, Steve. The defensive rotations have been abysmal. It's one million. That's good. I tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. He can bring them right back into this. Here's Henderson. 16 points for him. Has to kick. He kicks it to Miller. Miller off a bit from Walker. Miller outside. Six to shoot. Walker's shot is off. Tough game for him. Yeah, all the scouts watching. Not the performance he was hoping for. Pass to the monster. A feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. The monster's got 11 points in the quarter. Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. And this game, for the players, an exciting moment. That's right, Clark, and I'll tell you what, it doesn't get a lot of attention outside this gym, but for these young men, the importance of these games, absolutely enormous. It's one million. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the best. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. And we've reached halftime in this one. Rookies ahead, up 10. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And now we return to one of the highlights of the entire year. The Rookie Showcase brought to you by Champs. And plenty of scouts and GMs still in attendance for the second half. Well, an exciting first half of basketball now in the books. Yeah, they're really putting on a show and rising to the occasion so far. Setting the floor for the rookies. They've got Miller, and it's Walker in at the power forward position. You know, one of the things I noticed this year on my way into the big event here is all the glitz and the glam. I mean, the arena's decked out. You've got vendors outside, the limousines with all the celebrities coming to attend. I'll tell you what, I'm just glad I'm wearing my best outfit because otherwise I wouldn't have fit in very well. Yeah, you look sharp, buddy. You are as sharp as they come. And as we were talking earlier on, the paparazzi and all those other folks making their way out. And because they're here, this has become one of their key events of the year here in New York. And that's saying a lot, considering all that goes on in the Big Apple. Easy call there. No question about that. You can hear the impact from where I am. The 
of free throws good from Henderson. And here are the rookies. It's a 10-point game. It's Wendell Young, and he rolls that ball in, sinking right through off the back line. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Here's the monster. The shot, no good. And the rookies going the other way now. Gets it to go. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. And defensively, well, the wind has just been knocked out of their sails. Need to get more bodies committed down low. Fantastic Ivory. The dish to Walker. No luck. Some solid defense from Hendricks. To the middle. Here's Bowie Bowie. And that one is Hammer Hall. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. Well, those could be an important two points, too, guys. In a close game like this one, things are really tightening up now because their offense has become unstoppable. Not sure where it was before, but better late than never. Henderson gets the middle, and it ends up out of bounds, and they'll keep possession. A nice play to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. I tell you what, guys, if he gets there a fraction earlier, that's a steal. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Walker throws in. Henderson uncovered. What a cold spell for them coming out of the half, missing the first three shots. Tough stuff. The monster passes to Rubin. Blocked. Thompson right side. Henderson. Goes to Henderson. Finish him. Henderson's got 20 points. And I'll say this about him, Kevin. I mean, it looks like he's made of rubber sometimes because defenders just bounce off him when he's driving the lane. What a finisher. You know, something else with him, you can't forget about his skill as a pull-up shooter. I mean, you give him too much room and he won't hesitate for a second to raise up and spray you with that J. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. And that's a difficult shot in the face of a defender that towers over. Well, you know, he almost seems to enjoy those mismatches, Steve. It gives him a chance to show what a strong finisher he is. Second chance shot, and the foul to the monster. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, get... Goes up off the inbound. Boom, he turns it straight down. That's a mammoth dunk for someone who's far from the biggest guy out there on the floor. Yeah, perhaps that'll give them the boost they're looking for to get out of the hole here. Yeah, it should. I mean, if that doesn't fire them up, I don't know what will. Thompson off the pick from Henderson. Thompson dishes to Henderson. And playing in front of all these scouts, there's some pressure to that. Right, for most of these players, they're not accustomed to the spotlight. I mean, they've been doing this for, for much of their young lives. Inside. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Great job. Taking him right at the defense. I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, he left him no choice but to foul there. Boy, a perfect half at the free throw line for him. That'll help their comeback effort for real. Yeah, that's keeping them close. Uh, it's going to take a full effort here in the second half, but uh, they've got to continue to knock down these free throws. Kicks to Walker. Miller outside. He feeds it to Thompson. Plastic funny. Back to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. And he threw the ball in front. He'll go to the line for two. Really an extraordinary game for Thompson. He has 29 points. They talk about the three ball for him. Wow. Unbelievable from long distance. Yeah, real light clock. I mean, it's been fireworks from deep. He's just so dangerous out there. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, sometimes it's contagious. Everybody starts to get comfortable and relaxed, and everything goes in the hoop. Feeds it to Henderson. Back to Miller. Lots of room. Rebounded by Hendricks. Now, normally, that's a shot people make, but that's not really his bread and butter there. 
Well, shots good from the monster. The monster's got 10 points in just the second half. What a quarter for him at the offensive end. He's ignored the scoreboard and continued to go out there and do his thing. Back to Thompson. Offensive rebound. Miller kicks to Anderson. He dishes it to Thompson. The pass to Anderson. The second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. Anderson's got 13 points now in the quarter. Gotta love the finger roll up and over the defense. It's Whitney in. No good on that last second attempt here. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams. And welcome back to the star-studded rookie showcase sponsored by Champs, the top draft prospects showing what they can do as we prepare for the draft. That's what it's all about, Kevin. I mean, that's why we're here. And sometimes agents want to hold their players out of a game like this. Great to see the top prospects show up and compete. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. So for the rookies right now, the monster, he's in a point guard. He's out there with Thompson, and it's NBM in it for center. Shoots it up. The shot's good from the monster. The monster's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the rookies. Thompson passes to Anderson. And here's the fast break. All alone. And it's Thompson with the jam. Boy, I love it. Half his hands on the steal, half the feet on the fast break. And Clark Powell on the dunk. Uh, guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Thompson for the triple. Rebounded by the rookies. He's really slowed down a bit here in the second half. He hasn't converted a three yet after the tremendous first half he had. Talk about some great numbers for the monster. He has 35 points and a total of seven points for him from the line. Now he's worked hard to get those numbers, Clark. And seven free throws, and that's important. It's easy points, and it allows your defense to get set up and keep the opponent out of transition. And he's doing a great job at the charity stripe. It's easy to overlook, but those freebies can make it. Henderson kicks to Miller. Knocked away. And so he ends up quick to the line. Officials have the contact and he'll shoot two. You know, even from here, you can see that one's going to be Yep, pretty odd. And a good call by the officials. That one drops. He ties it up. He's always been extremely reliable at the line. And today, there's no different. The monster passes to Wimbenyama. Drops it in from 11 feet. And one points in the game. And we touched on his draft stop earlier. He might be going up the way he's playing today. Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, he's been something, has he? Really competing well out there. Henderson dishes to Walker. And that goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Howard's check in for the rookies. And you know, there was a time when it might have been hard to get all the top prospects in one gym together to go head to head. Yeah, fortunately, those days are in the past. And for those of us who love the game, it's really such a treat to see these young players come out and compete. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. And they force the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. And Thompson kicks to Anderson. Plastic money. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Black, guarded by Walker. Here's Hendricks. That threw off the mark. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. You got that right. I mean, he'll do it from three-point line or anywhere on the perimeter, really. Because he is a deadly shooter. You've got to do a better job defensively. The rookie's making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. minute of action now gone here in the fourth. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Hendricks passes to the monster. A leaner. Moves back up. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. First free throw is good. 
All three throws good from the monster. And here are the rookies. The lead is two. Anderson with it. Now defended by the monster. And it's Miller penetrating. Can't hit from in close. Here's the monster. Drops in the way up to two. The monster's got 41. And he's made the most of his chances, hasn't he? He really needs to continue to work for those good looks. Thompson dishes to Walker. Back to Thompson. From deep. The shot misses. And the rookies the other way. Here's the monster. It's Wendy in. So he's good on the three ball. 24 points for him. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him in the game outside. Now here's Henderson. Plastic money. Shot to stop the run. That will get another chance. Multiple possessions have been the story of the game, and even with the big lead, this team continues to be quicker to the ball. And Walker kicks to Thompson. And the three off target. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped yet. Oh, 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 We've seen a lot of big dunks in this one. We sure have. Those young legs definitely lend themselves to highlight real finishes. Miller gets the walker. Dishes to Henderson. Back to Walker. For three. Rebounded by Wendell. He slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. The basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. Here's the monster. Henderson defending. The monster gets it to go. Monsters got 33 points. Well played right there. You can feel the momentum changing. I think this lead will continue to move upward unless something unforeseen happens. And the rookies call time here. They can't be pleased with all these easy looks they continue to give up in the paint. They're just way too coarse as a defense right now. A lot of holes in that defense. It's a good time to use a timeout here. Thompson passes to Henderson. Outside, Walker. Traps in the play. They didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first. But the defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. Pass to Wimbledon. And that's going to be out of bounds. And they retain possession. Here's the monster. With the lead pass. The shot's good from Indiana. He's got 26. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. They're not allowed to do defensively when they continue to get the ball inside and get these easy shots. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his sixth rebound on the night. Good. And Miller gets the assist. Thompson's got 33. Wow, that's been a vanishing act for him down the stretch. He's made only one shot and four tries here. Gets it to go. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the pit. Yeah, you got to make a defensive adjustment here, but time to collapse inside. Force the ball back out of the perimeter. Make them beat you from one goal. And that one's good by Henderson. Henderson's got five points now this quarter. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plan. And he stepped in the line, so they turn it over. Got sloppy in a close game. You have to take advantage of every opportunity. It's rebounded by the monster. The monster's got his third rebound with that last one here tonight. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. Beautiful reverse. He got his glide on and left the D in the rear view mirror. 
the rookies. They trail by six. Here's Henderson. to win the end and stolen by Miller. Well, it's going to be tough for them, but you have to continue to compete. It's not over. It's just twice more. Yep, you can't afford empty possession. Boy, their defense making an impact here late, Captain. And straight off the steel part, the perfectly run fast break ends in the slam dunk. Yeah, that could be a huge four-point swing in this game. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the officials. And the second of two is good. That puts them up by four. Not as productive a trip to the line as he would have liked, but they're still in a pretty comfortable position. The feed now to Walker. Can't get the three to fall. Boy, that's got to be deflating and disappointing to miss a wide open shot like that right in the wood. Henderson and dishes to Walker. Oh, hammer! And here's Cole the line. the margin to just four. They really could have used a perfect trip to the line there. Instead, they're still down two possessions. And now we've got the intention of five. That's the first, and that puts them up by five. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. The free throws go down, and the lead goes up. It's Thompson off the drive. Sinks it. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. That's a huge shot. And that put a hand to the crowd. The volume's been turned down in this building in a big hurry. Man, no question the right call at this point. You can't let them just dribble it out. That's right. I mean, you got to send them to the line and hope for a few misses. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. And that makes it a two-possession game now. Those could turn out to be vital free throws. Here's Henderson. Time running low here. They need a hoop. Yeah, score quickly and then foul him right away. Pass to Billy Blue. Here's the monster. Covered by Miller. Here's the monster. And that's an intentional foul. Tough break there, Kevin. But frankly, they'd have a tough time coming back from this deficit anyhow. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a seven-point game. This is the shot. And so the rookies take the win. Well, it was a... Hello, and nice to meet you. I'm the Director of Player Personnel for the Cavaliers. We are strongly considering drafting you with the first pick in the upcoming draft, but we'd like to ask you a couple questions about how you'd fit in here before we take that step. First question. Point guard is really the one position this team is solid in long term. We believe in Tony, and we're not looking to draft a player to challenge him for the starting role. If we were to draft you, we wouldn't want you to feel like we're grooming you to be a career backup. We love your talent. One thought is to try and convert you to a shooting guard, such that you can play alongside Tony. What do you think about that idea? Yeah, if you guys end up drafting me and that's what the team needs, then I'm more than willing to do anything to help the team. My goal has always been to play in the NBA. I know I'm not going to walk onto a team of this quality and demand the ball every time down the court. I'm willing to put in my time, learn a new position, and ultimately, I know I'll be a better player because of it. Oh. All right then, one more. 
As a whole, the San Antonio Spurs have kept the same core for the better part of a decade now. We found a winning formula and stuck by it, just rotating in supporting pieces where necessary. Unfortunately, the time has come where we need to start thinking about overhauling the roster. We really love the idea of you being a part of that process. What do you think about being a centerpiece for the new San Antonio Spurs? Man, I love the idea that you consider me a centerpiece. That type of confidence in me? How can I not love the idea? I'm interested in making a name for myself in the NBA, and San Antonio sounds like a great fit to me. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. Good game tonight. GM of the Magic here. We have the second pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick, if you don't mind. Obviously, we feel like we have the best core in the league with Dwayne, LeBron, and Chris. What we're really lacking is a point guard. That's why we're looking so closely at you. How do you think you'd fit on a team like this where touches are going to be extremely limited? I'm looking to make a name for myself in the NBA, and if I'm being brutally honest, I don't see that happening playing the fourth fiddle in Miami. Those guys will always be the big three and then me. Sorry, that just, that just doesn't work for me. I've always been the focus, and I always will be. Let's see, one more question, if you don't mind. These days, playing in Miami comes with an extreme amount of pressure. Everything you say and do will be under the microscope and scrutinized by the press. These are the prices we all have to pay for the tremendous team we've assembled here. How are you going to handle this level of pressure? And how are you going to react the first time you read a negative piece on your play? Look, to be honest, I don't really want this type of pressure on me early in my career. I need time to learn and develop into the best player I can be. Being thrust into the spotlight right from the jump, that's, that's not for me, man. I'll become the best player in the league someday. I know that. When that time comes, you're welcome to place the biggest spotlight in the league on me because I'll be ready to shine. Aww. Well, that didn't go quite as I expected. We'll see you at the draft. Greetings. I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Washington Wizards. We have the third pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick, if you don't mind. I feel like we have a really solid point guard in Ricky Rubio, but I would be remiss to not look at all available options in the draft. How do you think you compare to Ricky? Ricky looks to be the real deal, but I think I'm a much more complete player. If you draft me, you'll be moving your franchise forward a number of years. He still has good trade value, and I really think you'd be able to bring in another solid piece to build around if you draft me. Okay, last question. Minneapolis is truly a beautiful city, but are you aware of just how brutally cold the winters are? We have freezing cold, we have snow, we have it all. I've seen players walk in telling me that nothing can stop them, only to be defeated by the weather. The gosh darn weather. Can you deal with these types of adverse conditions? <laughs> we play the games indoors, right? Uh, yeah, I don't see weather being a problem for me at all. Basketball is basketball, and to me, weather has no part in that. My lifestyle's laid back. I don't see that affecting me in any way, shape, or form. So true. Great answers. I really think you'd fit in great with us. Here's hoping we're able to draft you with our pick. Good evening and welcome to the 2013 NBA Draft. Tonight marks the realization of a dream for some of the best young players in the world. A reward for their many years of dedication and hard work. It's also a time of extraordinary hope and excitement for our fans and our teams. I know the young men hoping to hear their names called tonight just can't wait to join the NBA family. So let's get started.
With the first pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Victor Victor from France. With the second pick in the 2013 NBA draft, Brandon Miller from the University of Alabama. With the third pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select the point guard from Georgia Tech.